It must have been around 1935 when Bertha Peacock Davis, one of the original five aunties, sat down on that peaceful porch and began to write her book titled Sugarloaf. Bertha had fond and lasting memories of carefree days and quiet nights. I'd like to share a couple of passages from her book. When Grandpa Peacock first saw Sugarloaf, the beauties of the large spreading butternut trees and the grandeur of the old oaks and the natural loveliness of the entire surroundings, he must have had in mind that someday he would see his children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren playing on the beautiful shore that bordered the extensive grounds. There the skies always seemed genial. A cool breeze always played across the point, and our grandpa knew that he and those he loved would find comfort and happiness there. As we have watched the shadows turn on the dial, time has constantly added a new charm, a greater attraction to our home. It has strengthened the ties which have bound us together so closely for so many years. Every day, all who live under this roof, nothing seems wanting to our complete happiness, and this feeling grows stronger and deeper as the years go on. Bertha shared some wonderful memories in her book. All the grandchildren and great-grandchildren hold dear their favorite memories. One I remember is that up until the mid-60s, our mail was delivered from town by the post office mailboat. Each house like ours had a mailbox at the end of the pier. From our front porch, we could hear the deep throttle of the vintage Chris Craft boat as it came around the point to our pier. We ran down to the mailbox, waved to the mailman, his dog on the bow, and the tourists who rode on the stern of the boat. For a bunch of five- and ten-year-old kids, that was an exciting part of our daily routine at Peacock Cottage. Although I never knew him, great-great-grandpa passed his love through the generations. I can't thank him enough. <laughs>